There are just three Canadians in the WNBA. It's one of the toughest leagues to get into. A new tournament next month is hoping to showcase the Canadian women's basketball talent that's across our country. It's called Global Jam, put on by Sportsnet and Canada Basketball. And there's a special Mad Love game that will be in partnership with the Raptors, hoping to showcase the top female basketball players in our country. The Raptors, like, they're pretty big, so for them to be able to like just you know take the time and just come support us as women, that's that's really big and it means a lot to me. Tasha Lattimore and Cheyenne Day Wilson were both back in their hometown Toronto on Tuesday to talk about the upcoming Mad Love Night that will be part of the inaugural Global Jam tournament this summer in Toronto. The game aims to help celebrate women in sports while inspiring the next generation of girls. It just means a lot to have a lot of people just tuning in. I mean, women's sports is growing day by day, and I mean, it feels good to be playing back in front of my, my people's home crowd. Both Lattimore and Day Wilson are two of the top female basketball players under 23 from Canada. Lattimore just made a major move transferring from the University of Texas to the University of Miami. I'm pretty excited to just go show out and show everybody a young lady from Toronto, which, you know, not every young athlete from Toronto, especially a female, they don't really get to move out to those type of schools. So, I mean, it's pretty big and um, I'm excited to actually go and show everybody what I can do. As for Day Wilson, she shined with the Duke Blue Devils. Last season was named Freshman of the Year. You know, Freshman of the Year was just the icing on the cake. I mean, the work doesn't stop, the grind doesn't stop, and I just want more. So I'm going to keep going, keep doing my thing and just you know, keep getting more, keep keep filling up the trophy case. Both lead athletes are looking forward to playing for Canada in Canada in front of friends and family for the first time in over two years. And they're hoping to be drafted into the WNBA in the near future and are pushing for a team on home soil. The mayors, everybody out there watching, uh, we need a women's team in Toronto, okay? I know the men's team is getting all the shine, but hey, we need a women's team. So for people like me, Cheyenne Day Wilson, all those good athletes that are coming out of coming out Toronto so we don't have to leave and we can represent our own country. Country, you know what I'm saying? And that would be really good for the Canadian culture. I mean, it's never been down in Toronto, so I mean, if we can get one, hopefully by the time I'm, I finish college, that would be really good for the city. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.